we go at 189 pounds. We have the black singlet from Centerville, 20 and 0, undefeated, undefeated Nick Miller. Won a thriller last night to get here. He's wrestling Caleb Busen from Wadsworth. A win from Busen here seals the team title. Both wrestlers undefeated coming in. Both wrestlers also seniors. Both wrestlers also standout football players. Miller rushed for close to a thousand yards for Centerville's football squad this year. Busen is the Wellsworth quarterback. Both wrestlers missed time early with injury. They're both 23 now. Busen, the number one 89 pounder in the state, has been a man on a mission recently. Although squeaked in with a 3-2 win. Sorry, it was Busen that had the tight semi. He won 3-2. Miller, a dominant 13-6 effort. Seeing as I called that yesterday, it's kind of an inexcusable mistake on my part. Miller, a stud from his feet. Busen, duck attempt. Miller cuts off the head. Now's in a short offense situation. Gonna push forward. We go out of bounds under a minute to go here in the first period between Caleb Busen and Nick Miller. Miller even is an impressive feat being at 89. See, I was reading the, the Centerville football website this morning, listed at 235 pounds. <laughs> Although it certainly looks no worse for the wear. They got a blood spot on the match. The Grizzlies can win one of the next three. They get a team title. <laughs> that's, no doubt. that's a cameo coming in from Zeb Miller. Means there was a 53 second fall in Division 2. Oh, yeah, so I'd, we're going to be blessed here at the 89 pound match with two people in the booth. As I get some help calling things from Zeb. We're 0-0, 35 seconds left. Not a whole lot of action so far early. Said two undefeated wrestlers. Got some pretty high caliber kids going. Points will be at a premium. 3.5 point lead right now for the Falcon. <laughs> Check that for the Eagles. I knew it was a bird of prey. For the St. Edward Eagles, they got a 3.5 point lead. You win a regular decision, it's going to be four points. And you got to think, they've got three cracks at it. With finalists in these last three weight classes, it would be almost unthinkable for Wadsworth not to win a team title at this point. The Eagles need a miracle at this point. Yeah. Uh, don't know if they're going to get it. I think you got, you have a lot of Centerville fans wearing green and gold right now. <laughs> Going for the day, you have Centerville kids in the next two weight classes. I think Ed's might as well start a fan club right now. <laughs> uh, so Busen's under to start the second, out with no problem. Miller really hasn't <laughs> hasn't tried to ride kids in the matches I've seen him. He's content to work from his feet. This is going to be a one. This is going to be a takedown wins it type of match. You gotta think if Centerville can pull off these next two, there's gonna be a lot, lot, lot of pressure on Ben Bazelli. You think maybe that momentum could feed kind of against Wadsworth. Great, great shot by Busen. As he gets his two, goes up 3-0. Minute 20 left here in the second. Pretty, pretty, pretty duck high crotch there by Caleb Busen. We might see John Gramulia do a backflip or something off the stage if they win this one. <laughs> We've got a Wadsworth grad, grad next to me taking pictures. She's shaking her head excited. So I think the Grizzlies can start to smell it at this point after that takedown. Obviously a lot of time to go here. And Miller certainly, we saw yesterday, can, can get things done from his feet. With Busen right now, a big 3-0 advantage. 3-1 advantage, I'm sorry. Thank you for the correction. 45 seconds up in the second period. We got an underhook dug in from Miller. Now he's got front head. Busen able to come out of it. Now a double.
double collar tie. No action. The level pass there. Decent half shot. Surprised we're not seeing more offense from Miller. Oh, As I say lock. that, he's got a body lock in this. Oh, he caught him off the mat. He, he gets a boot in. And oh, nothing. Man. Wow. Whoa. Great scramble there from Caleb Busen. Wow. And we all night, we have seen just spectacular scrambles by Wadsworth wrestlers. Obviously, Loudon Gordon being the biggest of which got the fall, but you know, a scramble one Squire estate title at 45. A scramble just saved Busen's lead here at 89. And that ability to be comfortable in funk situations is going to win you a team title. I think you got it all covered here. <laughs> Zeb going back to man his post on man his post on the Division Two mats. Also, look at if you look to the left of your screen, all those finals are up to. We are covering every single state final here in Ohio. Also, New Jersey and California and Maryland are covered this weekend, as well as your EIWA finals and EWL finals. Big weekend from Flow Wrestling. Hopefully, you're spending a lot of time. Miller now trails 3-2. He's got two escapes. Only offensive points scored so far by Busen. Miller's going to need to go. Came oh so close to scoring huge points on a body lock at the end of the last period. And there's a good, good clean shot. Busen tries to fuck again. Miller's got him in trouble. He's getting back. And now that's going to put some serious pressure in 215 and heavyweight. Wow. Houston tries to fuck, goes to the well another time, gets himself in trouble. Miller shaking his head and can feel it. We've got a buck 10 to go. Nick Miller's got a 6 3 lead. Scramble gone wrong for Busen. As rather than bellying out and giving up just, just the two, he gives up big points. Miller cuts him 6-4 a minute to go. Wow, Miller's waiting. Yeah, he's Busen has got to force the action here. You've got two wrestlers who have missed a lot of time with injury. Oh, he There's tried to match up. Miller catches him. Whoa. <laughs> oh. And Nick Miller has had just a spectacular third period here. He goes up 8-4. A win wins it. Martin Floriani, a little confused on the team score over here. Like I said, Wadsworth needs a win too. <laughs> and Nick Miller's not letting that happen. He leads 8-4, 35 seconds to go. Dirk McGurk. Scramble's gone wrong, as you said. Exactly. Busen obviously feels comfortable in funk situations, but Miller, good fundamentals. On head. And Miller's free. This is going to come down in the 215. Busen needs a five to a four point move. He's down eight to five. Yeah, 17 20. seconds left. Miller, oh. Miller chucks oh, him a little Miller, bit. Eight seconds. Eight seconds ago, Wadsworth looks like it's going to have to wait at least one more match to win a team title. As Nick Miller, from center, first of two Centerville wrestlers you're going to see tonight. Oh. Great, great effort from Nick Miller as he is fired up. Like I said, yeah, a lot of happy people in green and gold as well as black and gold. Nick Miller points to this crowd. You think Nick, you think Kevin Allen and Bazzelli are feeling a little pressure? Exactly. Now, <laughs> we get great. I love filming moments like that. On top of the wrestling world right now is Nick Miller. We're going to get this whole celebration, folks. Miller's pulling a Gino Fortabono going up into the crowd. 
It's like gives his folks a hug, gives his brother a hug. It's moments like this that just make it great being at state championships. So kids work so hard all year long. Now is your Division I Ohio State Champion. Okay.